Welcome to Will It Shave Wednesday. I'm Matthew, and today we're going to do a shave video. Real quick, I'm going to wet my face. It's that time of the week to try something new, something odd, something bizarre, maybe a comment that someone suggested. Today's razor that I'm going to try is an eBay find. This particular razor is a clone of one of, I think it's the Folding SS razor. I could be wrong, but uh, this was $14 off of eBay. And this does feel like it's stainless steel. It definitely looks like it. The spring is nice and clampy. And it does have these... Uh, I don't know if you want to say serrations, uh, but the little divots in there. Here you go. All right, and today's blade, I have to be careful picking this up, is going to be the Feather Pro Guard. And so uh, you can slide it in there. I prefer to just bring it up to kind of right there, drop it in. And then just make sure it seats just like that. Perfect. Okay. Today's shave soap will be brought to you by Shannon's. And this is Barbershop. And I just love Shannon's soap. Wow. Here it is. There's the pour. And you can see the steric acid in there. Kind of clumped up. But I do have, and that's normal, nothing to worry about. I have that whipped up in the Captain's Choice Copper Bowl. I used one quarter of a teaspoon and uh, what was it, 10, maybe 11 milliliters of water. I'm gonna go right to lathering here using my Omega Bore brush. And whenever I do my straight razor shaves, I like my soap to be a little bit thinner it is much easier to rinse. And you know what they say? If you have enough water in there, it's going to be nice and slick because the water is what helps with the slickness. And I keep seeing that one to bloop off there. I do have two days worth of growth. And I don't see it being any challenge for this blade. All right. Papa Bear crawled out of the cave this morning, so he's a little, uh, <laughs> a little slow for his roll. All right, let's go ahead with pass number one with the green. Here we go. No problems at all. It feels really nice in the hand. And there we go, look at that. No problem rinsing off. Let me do a little touch up here. Excellent. Nice and smooth. Plenty of residual slickness there. And let's see, I need to wipe my hand off. Let's see if we can get up in the, I don't have my eyes in, so I can't see again today. And for whatever reason, my hand is not wanting to bend. <clears throat> early in the morning. <laughs> Let's switch back over this way. See, now I can't see. All right. Blade is feeling excellent. I have never really sat down and counted how many times I can use this particular blade. I just kind of go until I 
I feel it starting to get a little tuggy and swap it out. How was your week? My week has been exceptionally hot. In the heat, not so much the bother. It's the humidity. And it's been bad. <laughs> At 5 o'clock in the morning, it's like 95% humidity. It's awful. It's amazing how one company can make this razor and they charge hundreds of dollars to where the other company can sell it for 14. And I know it doesn't have the little fancy logo that says feather and the handle may not be exactly the same. But, uh, I feel like it's a good possibility they could be made in the same factory. Because let's face it, how many factories do you need to make razors? I don't think there's that big of a demand. I could be wrong. If you know, comment below and let me know. is a nice scent definitely a classic barbershop scent it's not too strong which i like that and it's not too mild so you definitely know there is a scent there And I do have some hairs that grow way up there, so I don't wait for them to get super long. I just whack them off every time I shave. <laughs> All right. And like I've said in the past, <clears throat> I don't talk a whole lot when I'm straight razor shaving or using the commissory. Because I feel like if I do, it gives me an opportunity to that red stuff out or make a mistake. It's starting to get a lot of lather building up in my rinsing bowl. I try to use the bowl that way. You guys aren't hearing the faucet running. And I'm not real good at wiping on a damp cloth. It takes a large damp cloth. Because <laughs> it just gets all over the place. See how I'm doing with time. I will say that um, the blade on this, it does have the 
the little etching here but it would be really nice if it was up here because this is really smooth and I can feel it kind of want to twist a little bit in my hand so that's kind of a, a downside but it actually did a really nice job I'm gonna get cleaned up with a cold water rinse and I will be right back and I have the ice cube stick so there was no bleeders weepers gushers which is always nice and especially no ouchy boo-boos so you know that is a good indicator of an excellent shave ah, and the old ice is nice I'll use my Lancaster black sheep towel and I do have the matching aftershave splash this is one of those ones you need to give a little shake which I don't mind I do wish it had a little menthol in it but that is neither here nor there What a nice close shave. And I will follow that up with some star jelly. You hear that aeration? <laughs> Getting really low. Wow. Well, that will be my shave for today. I will put a picture right here of everything that I used. And I would like to say thank you for all the returning subscribers. And if you're a new subscriber, Take a look around. I'm sure there's some videos that you'll find interesting. And I will see you guys on Will It Shave? Not Will It Shave, because it always shaves. But uh, I will see you on Sunday Shave. Have a great rest of your week.